issue of blood. She touches God and he said, who touched me? Virtue has come out of me. Because she came to touch him with thirst. She came to touch him with desperation. She came to touch him asking for mercy. She came to touch him because she was Makoti Katalaba. Everything had come out of her. She had lost everything on her strength. So that was her last hope. She came to touch him. Today you are coming to touch him because you are tired. In French you say you're fatiguing. You have such an eye, you come and touch him. You touch him with desperation. You touch him with thirst. You touch him with humility. You touch him because he's your last hope. You touch him because you have such and you have arrived to the end of your own road, of your own righteousness. You come and touch him. And when you touch him that way, then virtue will come out of him. He delights in your contrite heart and broken spirit. Many will come to the end of their own righteousness and will seek to come and touch him. And virtue will come out of him. When you come and touch him and you are filled with your own righteousness, nothing comes out of him. Because you are already filled, your cup is not empty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Humbly I come to you, Lord. Empty I come to you to fill my cup with your virtue and your righteousness. For my own righteousness did not satisfy. Oh, I come to you, the living God. Oh, living God, let your light deliver. From that prophetic uh, word, I picked my spirit. Matthew chapter 9, verse. Thank you. 
verse 37 and 38 is uh, <clears throat> popular scriptures of the Bible. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we worship you, we give you glory. We thank you for this word this morning. And we ask for your bridge. We ask for your inspiration. We ask for your revelation. We ask that you open our eyes of understanding. We ask that you should breathe in our hearts. We ask that this word will be written. And you will move us to uh, you move us. We ask that you move us mm -hmm. to, the, to do the needful mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, I submit my heart, my will, my spirit under your leadership. Mm -hmm. You move and move in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This popular scripture is in Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. Let's start from 36. He said, but when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as mm -hmm. she having no shepherd. Amen. Matthew 9, verse 36. Amen. We can start from verse 35 then. Verse 35 says, <clears throat> And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Mm -hmm. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them. Because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest is truly, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Mm -hmm. Before we read the next verse, which is from chapter 10, mm -hmm. let's talk about, let's do talk some justice about this. Amen. I discovered that since Jesus has come and has given us light, every <coughs> every man that uh, existed either from the first Adam mm -hmm. as being the one that had to receive the light. Because in this time of Jesus, it was the only light and it was healing everyone that was born of the first Adam. Amen. <clears throat> it was healing them. It was healing them. You know in the time in the Old Testament before Jesus came, mm -hmm. God would just, anyone that does the, against the will of God. God will just, you know, speak to his uh, men, Let's, let me call them his disciples, his prophets, to go and kill them. He can call King David, you know, or call King Saul to go and kill them. Because the packages of righteousness of redemption has not been worked on. There was no uh, one who represents God upon the heart. So nobody can receive Jesus. You know, the prophets can heal them, but they are not receiving Jesus. They don't have salvation. They don't have the gospel 
of the kingdom. The first time the gospel of the kingdom was preached was when Jesus began the crime, began the teaching. Please please take me to a proverb, which is not even part of my Proverb chapter Proverb chapter eight. Proverb chapter eight, verse one. I think is more of prophetic word. He said, "Does not wisdom call out?" Does not understand and raise her voice mm -hmm. at the highest point along the way. Why along the way? So Christ, Christ, which is the tabernacle of God, you know, has a voice, and he has been. Even let me tell you, God was the first teacher because he taught the angels. Give them light. He taught the angels. So he says, Does no wisdom call out? So, who is the wisdom? Bible says Christ is the power and the wisdom of God. So he has been calling, he has been crying, he has been preaching, he has been talking, he has been. He said, The heavens declare the glory of God. They have the work of his hands. Amen. So God has been using everything he has created to speak to us. So day after day. They speak. But we have to keep saying it. 
We have to keep saying this thing. Because Pastor the Professor that he, by Prophet Prophetic Hari saw thousands of souls, millions, billions. We are right now, according to the world census, we are 7.7 .7 billion people on earth. And all these people are crying for solution. There is no country in the world that doesn't have problems of its own. Everyone is crying, and that part that is crying is your spirit man crying for his savior. So, everyone on heart right now, they are potentially are made to receive Christ. He was the only light. His disciples are not even see the problem we are having now is that we have people who are only looking for Jesus. We don't have people who are looking for Christ. Somebody say people like Jesus but they hate Christ. People are only looking for their solution. To sort out their selfish ambitions. When he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them. The highs that is used to see them, they are not just the highs to come and receive. Because to be honest, let's see what he said. He said, when he saw, he said, and Jesus went about all the cities and they were teaching in the synagogue and preaching the. So the purpose why Jesus was going from synagogue to synagogue, from cities to cities, from villages to villages, was about teaching the message of the kingdom of God. You see that that was what they put first before the proceeded line. He said, and healing every sickness. So now, but these days we put healing before even some people don't they only put they only they only will tell you they are just ministers for healings. But Jesus put teaching the message of the kingdom first. Like the teaching Pastor Sophia and Pastor Dan is doing, they will teach you the kingdom, the light first. Then at the ending, Holy Spirit will now begin to see people who need healing. That is the order. So if you see that people are performing healing in the church, the teaching of the kingdom was come first. Inside of them. Then you begin to now heal your sick. But these days, and that's why with that, Jesus is still saying the harvest is so much. But the laborers are few. Laborers. You know that if your ministry is just about, you are not laboring. What are you laboring? Because it is only spirit that comes upon you to use your vessel to command you or instruct you to heal. You are not doing anything. But when he has to do with teaching and teaching, and it takes time and process, it can take, it, can, it takes time for people to heal. This is laborious. This is what it means to labor. 
You teach, you pray, you teach, you pray, you teach, you pray, and you do it for days until the person's mind begins to yield. These are laborers. But when you are just going and be healing, it's good. It is a, it's, it's a way of bringing people like God has, God loves you. In some countries right now, the percentage of their Christianity has gone low. Very low. Very, very low. And these are the countries that, let me say, about 50 years ago, 60 years ago, they were in fire for Jesus. They were in fire for God. I said I want pastor. We pray. This, this is what this is not what I like to say. Because whatever you are doing, you are doing it for God. Well, because of this teaching, I'm going to say. When we pray for nations, because uh, the kingdom prophetic and apostolic are in our program was once, twice, last, is the last two years. But now, through the destruction of the Spirit of God, it has been demarcated. We do, we are for, so we pay ourselves to two. There must be the head and the body. That's how it works. So that there are some people that are are on the scene, and there are people behind the scene. Praise the Lord. So, most I don't we'll put nations in our hearts. We only pray for nations, and we pray for names, we pray for families, but these are instructions. It is the leading of the Spirit. So, God has been so wonderful. But some is just talking about whales right now. Like there are mountains, and God was saying that there are instruments for what? The mountains in Wales are, are the instrument for his kingdom. Imagine. So around the world, right as I'm talking to you right now, people are yearning for solution. But the problem is that the creatures of miracles or the manifestation, those who are manifesting miracles have made the harvest to be plenteous. It means that if you only concentrate on miracles, you are not a laborer. You are only an advertiser. You are only at the gates. You are at the gates. You are a gates man. Gates man. You are a gatekeeper. But you are a gatekeeper. You are not even fully doing the work of a gate man, spiritual gate man.
So you are not a laborer. You are just to open the gates and call people to come in. But when people are coming, they still have problems. Now this is everyone that's the problem we are having in the body of Christ. Everyone wants his name to be known. He wants to be at the gate and let people know that he is the one, not Christ. He is not preaching the purpose why he was or he is at the gate. So everybody wants to stay at the gate. Nobody wants to go inside the gate and begin to labor upon these commas to see why they are in the gates. So it now looks like the gate of hell. You know, people who receive Jesus and they want more, but they can't see the same thing and you get tired. These days now, if, if you go to perform miracles, you know, in, in those days when we were going, people will shout, they would die. But these days, it has now become a common thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yep. Nothing is like this is no big deal. They will even tell you where they are coming from. The Satan, they are, they are, they are powerful. This is also, you know, produce miracles. So it's, it's, it's now a, it has become a common thing. Don't just be gatekeepers. Don't just be gatesmen. You have to go in because this is what Jesus said. Let's, let's go back. He said, I'm preaching the gospel of the kingdom and eating every sickness and every disease among the men. But when he saw the multitude, they were inside the gate. Because it takes just believing in Jesus to receive salvation in the time of Jesus. At that time, they were not confessing Jesus. They were just believing in their heart that Jesus is Lord. And immediately, indirectly, or directly, either they are conscious of it or they are not conscious of it, they are receiving Jesus. He's forgiving their sins. Who said, Do you believe that Jesus can heal you? He said, Yes. Then come into the kingdom. Come in. And they kept following him. Like they want every day when they, when they, when they note Jesus from afar, from where, they will just troop around him. They want to know more. But he was the only one. I perceived him as if that was the reason why he had to quickly die. So that God can save more laborers. So he will be the one to heal the sick. He will be the one to teach this, the, the, you know, the, the believers. And he will still have to go again and prophesy and have to travel from nation to nation, from villages to villages, from cities to cities, and the work is just getting overloaded. Imagine now you have you have sixteen percent of Christians values in some countries. If you ask some young guys now, they will tell you, I don't want to, I'm not a religious person, I don't want anything. Why? Because the gatekeepers are not, they are not doing.
doing, they are not working. They, are, they just want to be known. And after being known, after giving them money, giving them cars, giving them houses, giving them everything, They're supposed to now use that to go and teach, but they still want more. This morning, we are going to pray for laborers. Amen. We are going to pray for Amen. laborers. Because if you check it, the country you are right now, people are looking for solutions. Mm. Now, this he has now got into the level like this, why there are miracle workers. People are not even after those miracles again. They are tired. They are looking for something more. They are looking for laborers. And this this laborers that God is sending, you have to prepare your mind that you walk by faith. You will teach and teach and teach and teach and teach and pray and pray and pray. if you have just one if you know what the, the, the challenges you are having just for one imagine you now have five or you have ten but these days people just want people they just want people to fill their church and now, carry a microphone and go up a line and let people know that. No, that is not the mind of Christ. No, some people will get to heaven, most of these people, they will get to heaven and they will regret their actions. So today we are going to pray for For, for laborers. Because of the other situation, Satan is now making use of this harvest that laborers are supposed to labor upon. Mm-hmm. And begin to, let's go to Job chapter 5, verse 5. You see something here. When you leave the fields, they are ready to be harvested. By the laborers, and you leave it like that. Mm-hmm. The evil ones begin to. Mm-hmm. And you see, Satan has his own laborers. Plenty. Now, these laborers are not just men now, they are everywhere. They use the media, they use websites, they use social network. They use men. It's just how is laboring people. People that are waiting for laborers of God to come and walk upon them. But the laborers of God, they are concentrated on one side of the five folks. They are concentrated on one gift of Christ. Even some, they have their own original calling, specialization. But they left that side and, you know, went around after the other one that we bring money, bring fame, bring attention. And because of that, Satan is now taking use, I mean, he's misusing the opportunity, the field that God has made ready for his laborers to engage on. Job 
chapter 5, verse 5 says, Whose harvest the hungry eating hop, and take it eat, take it even out of the tongues, and the robber swallowed hop their substances. So if you are not in when God Jesus has prepared the field, but we are not engaging. This field taking charge of the field for God. You know that when you are hungry, you are hungry, you need somebody to come and feed you. But you know, Satan, when he sees that you are not going after that one that is hungry, he will come like the angel of light and deceive the hunger. And we still feed that hunger. Who's always the hungry eating hop and take it even out of the tongues and the robber swallow hop their substance? to pray. Mm-hmm. Especially the laborers. Mm-hmm. You know you can be laborers as a potential. God has prepared you to be a laborer. Mm-hmm. You are ready made laborers. Mm-hmm. But you are not laboring. Mm-hmm. Some laborers are supposed to be in the gates. But of the laborers, heavy made laborers, they are at the gates. Imagine you are a revivalist, you go to the villages, you go to places, you travel on the city, you win soul. You, this is the way you win soul to the kingdom. But this is the way you still win the soul even in the kingdom. Now, many people are like, when you are like Adam, the gatekeepers has brought them in the city. And they are supposed, they are, let me say they are, because it is the, the, Christ is the kingdom of light. So they are supposed to be exposed to light. You can be in the kingdom of light. <clears throat> Normally, in the kingdom of light, you are exposed to light. But the light is not penetrating. So that soul has not been won in Christ. That soul has been won from the world into, the, into Christ. But that soul has not been won in Christ. So we use Samuel chapter 1 verse 8 to pray. For Samuel. For Samuel chapter 8 verse 12. I want to see. For Samuel chapter 8 verse 12. We use it to pray. Verse 
verse 12 says, And you will appoint him captains over a thousand, and captains over fifty, and you set them to hear the ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his instrument of war an instrument of his chariots. If you read the Bible like a story, you know, you think what I just read is. Is a combination of is a progressive sentence to a story. But there is revelation to every word of God. So let's begin to pray. He said, In our in this body of Christ, laborers are many, but they are not going after their purposes. Laborers are plenty. You don't know how many pastors that you have? <laughs> there are thousands, millions. Many are delayed because they are lost after what God says will be hearted. And when you are lost, when you are desiring things outside the box of Christ, Satan will run after you. It will pick your heart, it will pick what you are focusing on. And it will, it will come like an angel of light. So we, we don't have much true. The ones that are still standing, they are very few. So let's pray. God, appoint. Harvest for you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, help the ministers that have derailed in the name of Jesus Christ. And if they don't want to be helped, oh Lord, we ask you that you should begin to work on new ones. And people who are traveling from countries to another country, let them know the purpose why they are here. Oh Lord, speak to their hearts. Because Satan is also using the days they're supposed to be to, on, be to church to begin to work and engage them and giving them double money. Oh Lord, help people. He said, what? Appoint captains over towns, over fifty, and set them to hear the ground, and reap harvest for you, and make his instrument of because when you have become the harvest, then you will train your hand for war. You will train your hand for war. And when you are being trained for war, that's when it grows, comes. That's when you begin to find the good fight of faith. So that you can lay hold on eternal life. That is also within you. You are the man, you are so much. You are many things in many things. There are many things that all God has kept to you that you have to even journey to get those things that are already yours. Look, I point thousands. I point thousands. I point laborers. Because Satan has sent out his own laborers and is using all kinds of devices, all kinds of opportunities to bring those God, those people God has been made ready for his own harvest. And people are trooping out of ignorance in entering into the trade of unrighteousness, of ungodliness, because they are yearning for God. But the cause of this war has gone and beat them because the laborers that are God has sent, they are also running after ungodliness. Oh Lord, we ask that you should prepare the new captains that will be personal only for righteousness daily. Oh Lord, we ask for your grace in the name of Jesus. So she was, so the Lord was telling us to pray for whales and when we prayed for whales I saw the mountains and I've never been there and she told me whales is full of mountains and so the Spirit of God was telling us that there is something to do with the mountains and whales. I believe there is also a spiritual meaning to it 
Because the other day during the meeting, when you asked the question, the, the 12 mountains, and Pastor was explaining that they are gates. So the fact that those mountains are in Wales, it is, it is a strategic place for the United Kingdom for the um, equipping of the same, for the move of what God wants to do. So um, as Pastor said, we are praying for laborers, we speak life into those laborers, we speak the manifestation of Jehovah into those laborers. Lord, we thank you because this morning we clearly saw thousands of souls and we saw that those souls were seeking to be filled up. But they were just filled up to the ankle and all this was completely empty. And they were just walking. And the Lord was telling us that there are not enough workers. There are not, there are not enough teachers. There are not enough they are not the, the, the scripture that um, that came was um, if they are not taught how would they know? I'm just paraphrasing it. The, 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 the scripture I can't remember where it is, but to paraphrase it, it says if they are not taught how would they know? So a teaching the word of God needs to be released for those those thirsty. So thousands of souls are thirsty. They are thirsty and they are they are going to the wrong sources to be filled. They are thirsty. They are walking up and about. Amen. We feel up to just the uncle so Karo Kotorobo so so as Romans 10 14. So as we we've uh, released that prayer we believe that life will come back to the laborers and as we are in the United Kingdom we thank God for the mountains there and Kori Katorobo. So we speak whatever interpretation it is with those mountains shall manifest for the move of the United Kingdom in Jesus' name. La Kotorobo. And I also see many, uh, many, um, how do you call it? Many uh, people coming from other places. Uh, missionaries that God will also bring here in the United Kingdom and as he is allowing many to come we pray that they do not forget their purpose because I remember there was somebody who was uh, uh, giving a video and he said you know here you don't have time for church 